Aloha, beautiful souls. It is me, Luna. Um, I found myself a beautiful little dragon lair back here in Sedona. And I was just meditating and I received this download that may be able to help you. Um, so as we know, a lot of us have been operating from our minds, right? Trying to navigate this reality from the mind. And we've seen that this doesn't really serve us, um, you know, when we're trying to function from the mind and do things from the ego. Um, what we're learning is to operate from our heart and let our hearts guide us. So the download that I received was actually to imagine that each of your chakras has its own heart, has its own heart center. Okay, the chakras have chakras. <laughs> this is what I just received. So in the West, we have our basic seven system chakra system with our root, uh, our sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. And we have a few others in there. We have the sacred heart chakra and um, other systems. We have 12, 13. We have our uh, uh, chakras above us that go to our celestial bodies and we have our earth star chakra that goes below us and many more okay <laughs> many more i believe um in some other traditions it's like 108 chakras and and so forth so anyways we have many chakras so whatever chakras you're aware of we can align our chakras chakras <laughs> and it's on and on and on in to infinity so we want to get everything aligned so we start with the heart so when you're in meditation and you're imagining clearing your chakras, I like to first connect with my earth star and connect with mother earth, imagining I have deep roots anchoring into the core of mother Gaia and those nutrients coming and filling up my chakras and then coming to the heart, expanding out and then above receiving the um, celestial downloads from, from the crown and my higher chakras that allow me to operate in the spirit realm. Okay, so as you're doing this, as you're breathing and you're filling up your chakras, just tune into the heartbeat because that is the center, right? The source, the center of each chakra. So put, placing your heart in each area of the body. Maybe I'll create a meditation to allow you to do this, but I just wanted to share a little bit of this uh, wisdom with you that just came through, channeled in from this beautiful red rock here in Sedona. I'm just so beyond grateful to live here. You know, I was just um, sending my gratitude out because I was living in Las Vegas before and I had the Red Rock there that I was able to go to. And uh, pretty often I would, I would go and just be in the rocks and give my matrix worries and fears to the rocks and she would always take it from me and um, fill me back up. And now I'm able to do that every single day and that is like my greatest gift. The true wealth is really in nature. You know, we get caught up in the mind, right? Like, ah, how am I gonna pay the bills? Da, da, da. And um, we just gotta return to nature to remember the true wealth is within us and within nature. And she's always got our back. Everything we need is here. Uh, so we can trust that fully. So, okay, now that I've given you that download, I wanted to see maybe what else was, was coming through from the Galactic Federation because I was just like channeling with them and, and working with them and placing their energetic light grids within the cities and dense areas to help alleviate the fear of the planet, to help uh, remove it and lift it. Um, so I wanted to just tune in and see what comes in. So I'm gonna move my camera so I can ground a little bit more cause I'm like doing some moves and then uh, yeah, let's see what comes through. There is information from Mars, the Martians, and so you may see that would like to come through. Uh, these beings are similar to the red rocks and the red dirt. We have our lineage from this red dirt. This is our particles. So you may see our, our DNA is made of this red, this rooted construct. And so, uh, many of the beings that are living on planet Earth are descendants of this planet Mars that you see in your sky. 
and there is new information coming from this planet and there yes there is there are communities on Mars there are multiple tribes and races of beings that utilize Mars as a hub for information so we will be seeing a great shift on Mars as well as your planet as they are both affected as you know a lot of the Martian energy can be uh, anger or fear or resentment and we are removing much of this energy and transmuting it into more passion and vigor and excitement adventure this type of energy is being alchemized so that much of the fear and anger and resentment can be removed from your planet as Mars is transforming itself yes this is all very interesting <laughs> and divine this is a divine orchestration and we coming from the planet mars we are a council of mars that represent this planet we would like to let you know that uh, all is divinely orchestrated and there is really nothing to fear we are dissolving this fear and like we said transmuting it alchemizing it so that it may be more of an energy of passion like you care about your planet so much that you are willing to act with grace and love to help transform the energies of fear and anger and resentment. So many of you might feel great sorrow in your heart. Uh, do not mistake this for weakness, for this is a new aspect of you that is being born. Do not fear the unknown. This is new. We are all new. We are all shifting and becoming new beings. We are being reborn and, and ascending into our light bodies. Yes, we are already in our light bodies, but we are an aspect of you as well, as we are all part of the Great One. Remember that everything is part of each other. So you will see great shifts across your government, across political figures and the nations. You will see many falling to their knees and weeping. And this is beautiful and divine. You will see them in great sorrow and you yourself might feel great sorrow for what has been done to your beautiful planet. But fear not, your planet is well. She is thriving, in fact. All you have to do is shift your, your consciousness, your mind, to perceive it as well, as thriving, as abundant, as you shift your consciousness and your perspective to see that all is well and aligned, then you will come into that place of passion and thriving energy where you will meet with like minds and you will mastermind to create new worlds. Okay, these new worlds truly actually already exist. They're already in form, in formation, in uh, seventh dimension and beyond. So we are bridging our realities. We are bridging our worlds to come together and unify so that we may have a more beautiful experience. But note that all is beautiful. Please do not look at any part of your reality or your experience as dreadful or uh, terrible. In fact, it is all beautiful and divinely orchestrated. And the more you can do that and teach others to do that as well, you will come into alignment with the true beauty and grace that this planet was actually created by. Ah, yes, the divine feminine is rising into her beautiful self and able to feel her exotic beauty on all levels. And in part as well, the divine masculine is rising and the divine masculine no longer coming from that Martian anger, all about me energy, uh, doing it for the whole now, doing it for the family of light, the family of earthlings, the family of all beings in our world. The masculine is here to be of support to the feminine as she grows and as she gives birth to new energies and to new worlds. Trust the process, my beautiful friends. Trust the process. Allow yourself to become all that you are and experience all feelings, for no feeling is wrong. No feeling is wrong. Feel, feel, feel. We were created, you were created as this human form so that you may experience all of the feelings. Do not shy away from feeling. 
It is no longer time or necessary to numb yourself. In fact, you were created to feel. Let yourself feel. Feeling is beautiful and divine and unique. And not all beings are able to feel as you as humans are. So give thanks for these feelings. Whether you feel the sadness, the sorrow, the anger, the fire. Remember, you can transmute it and alchemize it into joy, into upliftment. Because you know the opposite feeling. You know the spectrum of feelings. All the feelings are divine and beautiful. Hold space for your loved ones as they are going through shifts in feelings. Hold space. Hold love. And do not judge others for their feeling. Allow them to feel. Encourage them to feel all that they feel. And let them awaken to their own joy and bliss in their own time. Know that joy and bliss is always available to you. It is one thought away. So choose now the frequency in which you would like to continue enjoying this life and know that the energies are anchoring onto the planet to shift and grow you and remember that yes in the end we all die death is a natural part of life cycle you will die all beings will die but do not fear this death because you are born again every single time as you are an infinite being you have lived many, many, many lives before this. Some of you more than others. And you have been reborn each and every time. And guess what? The experience only becomes better and better as you learn to integrate more into your body. You learn to accept more and you learn to access more memory. But do not dwell on the past, my beautiful friends. Focus on the now. Focus on the now. Align your chakras with the heart beat that is you and focus on the now and what you want to create and bring into this world whether it be bliss flowers forests trees rain love from all directions you have the power and we want you to know that you have the power do not look to us outside of you for power we are here as guides and conduits and we are part of the all one and we are here to help you remember your truth and who you are. The divine matrix is now being rewritten with your thoughts and your energy. So sing, my beautiful ones. Sing your songs of light and share your beautiful presence with this world. You have all you need within you now and forever. These new abundance light codes are now sent to you from the heart of the all one source loving you from all direction. This has been a transmission from the Council of Mars. We love you, dear ones. We love you so much. Trust that all is working out. We are now alchemizing these lower energies into love. All will resolve itself in the divine timing. Trust in your nature. cool okay that was cool all right so that was the first time i've actually channeled in that way because normally i'm channeling uh light language and you know i receive messages like this and i will interpret them i'm like oh i just got this download you know but i just kind of allowed them to speak through me um which of course like some of my own vocabulary was mixed in there you know with how i would say it but I really let myself go and I just let the voice speak and that's what was transmitted. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that transmission. I'm really looking forward to making this a regular thing and sharing from the Galactic Federation uh, with you because that is what I feel I've been divinely guided to do. Look at these little fairy holes in the cave. Aren't they sweet? The Martian energy. <laughs> 
Oh my god, and there's a little ant falling on my phone. All right, well, I love you all so much, and um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one channeling with me. I am available for that, as well as sound healing and one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I have a couple new offers. I have a free abundance blueprint activation that is available. Um, check it out, as well as my new goddess alchemy course and so much more amazing things coming to you soon. So namaste, my beautiful people. Mwah.